Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Tuesday morning beach walk on Marco Island, Florida. Now I am at Tiger Tail Beach. Tiger Tail Lagoon. Really not much of a swim beach here. The real excitement is on the other side of those trees. That's where Sand Dollar Spit is. But I thought I'd just give you a look at Tiger Tail Beach Park here. How long our connection holds up is going to be a mystery here. And if we can get over there, supposedly there's a place up here you can wade over to the spit. We're going to give that a whirl get out on sand dollar spit but i just wanted to give you a look at the lagoon this is where you access everything there's a concession stand up here to my right there's also paddleboard rentals and kayak rentals there's a lookout tower maybe we'll go up that lookout tower take a look around I sent Robert up ahead as a scout. <laughs> the sand's always kind of damp here, kind of wet. Tiger Tail Beach on Marco Island, Florida. Back when I lived here, back in the 80s, this was an island out here. Now it's, it closed all in down to the south here. It closed in. Now it's just a spit of land. It used to be an island out there. The water was flowed through here. It was really nice. Tons of sand dollars out here. Now it's all changed after a couple hurricanes. That's the concession area where you rent the paddle boards and kayaks and beach chairs. I don't know what's in store for us here, folks. This could be a very, very interesting board, uh, boardwalk, beach walk. <laughs> We're gonna wade across this lagoon. Supposedly it's two to three feet deep. Hopefully I won't find, hit a pocket of that quicksand like mud and go down over my head. We'll just come over here and see Robert's up in the lookout tower up there. I got a telescope up there for bird watching. That's cool. Did you go scope it out? Yeah, there's Doesn't look like a place to cross, huh? Oh, up there? Are we going to be able to cross? Lots of shells here. Trush shells. Rough on the feet.
I don't see where you cross here. There used to be a trail over there on the other side that you could cross to. And there's the spit way up there. Well, it's oh, over knee deep now. The deal is what happens when I get over on the other side? Is there a way to get through the island? Water's up to my waist now. Boy, all kinds of fish jumping out. Lagoon at Tiger Tail Beach. Man, fish jumping all around me. I don't know if you can hear them splashing. See one jumping there. Now I'm up on a high spot. This is an adventure. I have no idea what's going to happen here. If all of a sudden the water's going to, the ledge is going to drop off or what? Robert was a chicken. Robert was a big chicken. I think you can go right across. That's what I read too. I read the same thing. It looked, it looks like there's a path over there. Got some other people gonna venture across. <laughs> it's getting really shallow on this side now, all of a sudden. Did get up to my waist. Now it's getting shallower. We're gonna check this out, the other side of this island, this spit, we're gonna check that out by boat tomorrow. Probably beach the boat and see what's over there as far as seashells. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any live feeds tomorrow. We'll try, I will try while I'm on the boat to do a live feed. I gotta conserve my battery. Just like soft, like a soft seagrass bed here. All right, now is probably when I'm gonna wish I had bug spray. There's a pathway here what's left of a pathway. Hell no. <laughs> now where do we go? Where's the pathway? Let's go find the pathway. The map showed a path over here leading to the other side. This is an adventure for all of us this morning. Maybe we'll just have to walk along the shoreline here.
Now what? It's kind of slippery. This be a great place for watching birds back in here. Somewhere there's going to be a way to get to the other side of the island here. There's a little snowy egret. A little snowy egret sitting here, checking me out. Nice big, nice big feather for my feather collection here. I think at low tide, this is the pathway. This is fun, huh? We're gonna be rewarded, I think, with a beautiful beach when we come out on the other side. We are on Sand Dollar Spit right now. Down at Marco Island, Florida. Making our way to the Gulf. I can hear the Gulf. I can hear the waves. into the birds We're up on dry land now that's the back of the dunes there This is cool, 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 cool. Come on, where's those stars? Stars, man, stars. Stars and tips. I only got a couple tips so far this morning. Kind of disappointing. Here we are, the fork in the road. The fork in the road leading to the Gulf of Mexico. Sand Dollar Spit is, the beach at the Spit is three miles long. We're about, oh, a mile up from the south end of it. Here we are. No man's land, baby. <laughs> Too bad those condos are down there. Smells like sage out here, like wild sage. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That was worth the wade. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm still live. Can't see the screen, it's so bright out here. That's what I was afraid of. This is quite a walk. There's some people down at the south end. It looks like they came the long way around. 
all the way down from the south end. Sand Dollar Spit, Marco Island, Florida. Look at that water, gorgeous water. There's a bunch of shells along the beach. It's a little rough out here this morning. There's lots of big live shells to be found here in the water. Live lightning whelks, big lightning whelks, big live horse conks. As you go further north here, up to the point, I think that's where the shelling gets really good. There's a lot of shells out here along the high tide line, the rack line. Not too many people make it over here, at least in the summertime. Awesome. Then as you go further north, the trees end and it just turns into more of an open beach, peninsula. I don't know if you can get around up here, around these dead trees. We were at the north end of this island with Donnie from Salt Life Transportation. Him and I were up at the north end. We came by boat. I got sweat in my eyeballs. I can't see. I remember where I came in at. <laughs> Everything looks the same over here. I hope I remember. I should have stuck a stick in the ground or something. Uh, people have hung shells on the trees here. Get some prayer trees here. leading back here. It's even railroad line here. The beach morning glories with their little purple flowers down here. Just so cool, so cool. I feel like a early pioneer, one of Florida's early settlers here.
here's some bigger open beach here, a bigger expansive beach. And the back waters over here. The lagoon back here. This is definitely a place of you're into serenity. This is the place to come. visit a relatively deserted beach. Looks like this is the place to come in the summertime. Plan to do some walking if you want to see the whole beach. There's a bunch of shells piled up here. Shellers coming up behind me. done a little exploring this morning. A completely new venture. Robert was telling me while we were driving over here from the south end of Marco Island, he said there's a pretty good drop-off down there at the beach where we're at on Marco, the Marco's Crescent Beach. 
said it was like a two foot drop off. So it was kind of hard to actually get out of the water. And here's the finger up here. I don't know if we're gonna make it up here or not. This is where the beach opens up. This goes all the way up to, I think that's Big Marco Pass, the Marco River. A couple little white ibises over here. Get up on the beach. That was a pretty easy walk up onto the beach there. This goes way around, way around to the north. Great place to do kayaking though back here. Yeah, there's shells here. Trust me, there's shells. If you're doing, looking for shells, they're here. Crunching under my feet. But this lagoon this is where we crossed we crossed the lagoon behind me down at tiger tail beach i think this is hideaway beach back in here what we're looking at now on the other side but we crossed way down there to the south you could probably walk up here in the water if you wanted it's not very deep There are some little trails back in through the trees, too. I think the shelling boats take you up to the north end of this island. Still call it an island. It's easier to say it. Island than spit. I don't know why. <laughs> the peninsula. Well, let's turn around and head back. You got the general idea. Lots of beach, very few people. Total awesome activity.
I'd say a good beach to come to by boat. You have to swim over to the beach, though. Right now, it's not a good place to... Oh, there's Robert. Robert! Yo! Robert's walking. Can't hear me. With the waves. I'm glad he made it across. Glad he made it across. That's where we were earlier. I just chose to take the high road. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Marianne and Ginger are back up on the beach here. Yeah, Mr. Howell and Lovey are back there too, and the professor. <laughs> yeah, this goes way around up here, way around. Awesome. You can, but it's easier to walk back this way. I mean, you have to walk all along the edge there. I'm going to go the way I came. <laughs> Hopefully, I can find the trail back. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about that when I started walking up the beach. That'd be funny. Well, it goes back to Marco Island, no matter what. If you just keep walking south, you're going to wind up back on the island. I was hoping to take the shortcut. See, there is a little trail all back in here. Bugs aren't bad either. That's kind of neat. This is so neat. Great little adventure this morning. A great little adventure. I didn't know what to expect when we were crossing that lagoon. I didn't know if I was going to sink down in the mud or what. I just trusted what I read on the internet. I am. I didn't drown. <laughs> now you know. I've seen people wading across in the past. We actually did some drone work for the county. Did some drone footage of Tiger Tail Beach for them years ago. And I did see people wading across there. So I knew it was true. I just didn't know how much it changed since those last two storms passed us by in the Gulf. Well, Robert decided go back the way he came. I thought he was gonna wade back. I mean, you can see where we were earlier this morning. If you look through the trees, you can see the condos all the way down to the south end of the Crescent Beach of Marco Island. That's where we were earlier this morning walking the beach. Did, did a little bit of shelling. That was fun. Lots of shells down there this morning.
this isn't yeah the trees are just in a line here there's a lot of erosion over on the other side of them it's probably like a natural net here to catch shells Probably right on the other side here at low tide, there's a bunch of shells piled up. Ugh, mounds of shells. Rough on the feet. Mounds of them. thinking I might have got my 10,000 steps in this morning. Zigzagging back and forth on the beach. There's Marco in the distance there. Beautiful emerald green color there of the Gulf. Boy, that water feels awesome. My buddy up there, Robert, in his blue shirt. All these little points you see sticking out here are full of little shells. The 
this is where we came in. This is where we started our little adventure on the island here after we came across the lagoon. Smells really, really nice here, by the way. The wild plants here. I don't know if it's wild sage. It smells really good here. Well, I guess we'll start making our way back, huh? Cross the lagoon together. What do you think? Shall we do it together? Maybe we'll have enough battery to get up in the lookout tower at Tiger Tail Beach for one last look around from there. This is beautiful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Thanks for the tips, hopefully the tips. I'm hoping my efforts were of some value. Tips and stars. Well, Robert's putting something in his pocket. Must have found some conch shells. It's hard to leave. It is hard to leave here. We'll be back. We'll pass by here in the boat tomorrow. I don't know, again, I don't know if I, how much live I'm gonna be doing tomorrow from the boat, we'll see. I'll try to do something. But we're gonna head down to the south, down south, down by Cape Romano, by the Dome Homes. I'll get some pictures and a little video of the dome homes. Gonna hit some shell islands down there in the 10,000 islands. So remember when you're watching those videos that that was a long haul for me and plus a boat trip. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Back to the swamps. <laughs> now that I know where I'm going and what to expect, it's not so bad. Where did Robert disappear to? I lost my Robert. I lost my bodyguard. There he is. There he is. He took the other path. All right, here we go. From the Google Earth view, this looked like a dry pathway all the way, but pretty soon we're gonna be in the water. Forge on, that's all I can say. When you come out here, just forge on. Don't be afraid. Just keep walking. Good morning. Morning. Excuse me. Sorry. It is. Yeah. 
it's a narrow trail. Carrying beach chairs and everything, it's gonna be hard to pass somebody here. I wouldn't recommend the chairs and everything. I'd say travel light. Well, there's less water here now. The tide's definitely going out. Much less water than when we came across the first time. I was kind of lost the first time when we came across. Didn't know exactly where I was going. This is brackish water here. There's nothing I don't think you have to worry about biting you in here. You'd see lots and lots of fish jumping in here though. When I was coming across the first time, whoop, got me another feather. Nice feather there to add to my feather collection. So we're cutting across to the beach over there. That's Tiger Tail Beach, the north end of Tiger Tail Beach. And yes, I was a little skeptical when I first started walking over here this morning. Wire an osprey. Here, if you look to my left up to the north, You'll see Sand Dollar Spit. That's where we were earlier. We can really feel a current moving here. Going out. Moving to the north towards the point there. behind me. Well, you can really feel that current when you're walking. Still live. You're still here? Are you still live? I'm live. Hmm. All right, little buddy. This is awesome. Just like they said, two to three feet deep. Yeah, there's fish jumping everywhere. I don't know if they're mullet or snook. Probably mullet back in here. Marco is known for mullet in the backwaters. The mullet fishermen used to be up and down all the canals fishing for mullet, dropping their nets. Creatures emerging from the water. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. How about that, folks? Back to the mainland. Now let's see if I got enough battery juice. And we'll jump up in that what? That lookout tower. This was a very popular beach here on Marco. Because as I said, when we first came out, 
this was an island. Where we were, it was an island. Then with hurricanes and everything, it closed in. Down there, where you see those trees down there, it all closed in, formed this lagoon. The water got kind of stagnant. This used to be gorgeous water down here back when I lived here in the 80s and, and before that. Tons of sand dollars in the water. You just scoop them up by the thousands down here. Now it's more just a kayak launch site. People do set up beach chairs and do some sunning out here and whatnot. But the real attraction is where we just came from, walking across that lagoon and visiting Sand Dollar Spit. And of course the beautiful Gulf of Mexico over there. See if I got enough energy to get up the steps without falling on my face. There's all this crushed shell walkway here. Tough, tough, tough on the bare feet. Wheelchair access there, that's nice. At least you can get up to the first level here in a wheelchair, that's cool. And telescope, there's another telescope on the upper deck. Well, you really can't see much from up here, can you? You can see the gulf. You can see the gulf and all of the lagoon. You can see the waters of the gulf over there on the horizon. And the park. Well, I'm going to call it a morning. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. I hope you appreciate me going the extra mile, me and Robert. The extra mile for you. Send some stars if you like what you see, even better. Go into the description of this post, look for my PayPal account, send a little tip. I really appreciate that at the end of the month. That little extra money comes in really handy. Just gets me over the hump. Thanks for being a friend. First and foremost, thank you for being a friend. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Help spread the word. Share the love. Spread my mission of bringing awesome people like you together in the mornings. One beach walk at a time. Hopefully I'll be able to go live somewhere tomorrow. Make sure you're set up for live notifications. If not, I'll be sharing some great photos and little short videos over the next couple days from our boat trip. And remember, that's just as much work as doing a live feed. You can send stars to any of my videos. It doesn't have to be a live feed. All right, I'm out of here. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.